Hello and welcome to week eight in Introduction to Psychology. And this week we're going to be taking on two chapters. First chapter, a huge topic, developmental psych, which is a multidisciplinary field in and of itself, bigger than psychology even. And we're also going to be looking at chapter 10, motivation and emotion. So in chapter nine, I'm going to be introducing you within the course book to the developmental clocks. And those include the biological clock, the psychological clock, the social clock, and the historical clock. And you're getting to know those pretty well. And then the first discussion is providing some personal examples of your own clocks. Now, I would really encourage you to look at all of them and give as many examples, maybe your own historical clock, your own clock in relate to your psychological maturity, the social clock about what you should be doing at this age, and then, of course, the biological clock, and having a discussion about that. Then we're going to switch to another theory, and that's the theory of Eric Erickson, the psychosocial identity development theory. I don't think that's the official name of it, but it is psychosocial theory, one of the most famous developmental theories uh, in history. And it goes through different phases of the lifespan where there are challenges. And let's say in adolescence, let's say the challenge is identity versus identity diffusion. And then moving into young adulthood, we have the notion of intimacy versus isolation. And when individuals are adolescents, they usually are toying around with both those ideas of both developing an identity, but also establishing uh, important friendships and romantic relationships. We move then into chapter 10, motivation and emotion. I want you to notice how related those words are. They come from the same Greek term, miore, which would mean to move. So what moves us motivation and what moves us emotion, the things that move us. So these things come together in this particular chapter. Now I'm going to be asking you to talk about anger, what I feel is sort of like the, kind of the emotion that doesn't get talked about a lot. Um, now keeping in mind there's a difference between anger and its very uh, important role in motivating us and uh, making for change. And then there's expressions of anger, which can be, uh, they can get out of line, you know, so there's a difference between the emotion and the expression. And then for the quiz, I'm going to ask you to take a test on emotional intelligence. And this is the ability to manage your own emotions and understand the emotions of others. Now, in my little description here, I did skip over the chapter nine quiz. The chapter nine quiz is the historical clock. Specifically, you look at the year that you were born and you align it with one of the generations. You're very, very likely your generation Y. And so you look at the characteristics that the field of psychology is saying about what does generation Y look like and then look at the other ones, the ones before that, the millennials and Gen X and boomers and all of that stuff before. And maybe you identify with being Gen Y. Maybe you identify more with some of the characteristics of the others. And the quiz is to have that kind of dialogue. Okay, so that'll finish up our week. And I just want to make the announcement right up front. Next week, we have no class. It's the Thanksgiving break. For KVCC, technically we have classes on Monday and Tuesday, but I just design all my classes so that the week is off. So you have this content this week, then there's a week off, and that's a really good time. I mean, I say it's a week off, but use that time to work on your information literacy papers. That'd be a really good time to get that done when you don't have any other discussions and whatnot to do. So that's the, that's the course for this week. And uh, have a great week. And I will see you in the discussions.